Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Booze Bites, the show where I show you how to cook with booze, but not just any booze, local booze. It's snowing outside. I don't know how. This is like the bajillion snowstorm we have had this year. And when it is this weather, I want something that's gonna cook all day on the stove, gonna fill my apartment with just delicious, delicious smells. It's gonna warm me up, it's gonna make me feel cozy, and most importantly, it's going to be filling. So today, we are making red wine braised short ribs. The wine we are using is one I've actually never tried before. It's a 2013 Cab Sav from Osprey Dominion. So, obviously, we need to try it. That is a bold wine to have at 11.30 in the morning, but it will be perfect for braising our short ribs. This entire recipe is going to take place on the stove, so let's go. So the first thing you're going to do is sear all sides of your short rib. In preparation for this, I do like to take the short rib out about 15 minutes before I'm going to cook it, so it comes down to room temp a bit and I seasoned heavily with salt and pepper before searing it. We want to get a nice crust on each side, including the side with the bone. Um, this is not to cook it through, but just to get a good flavor base. Remove that from the pan. You're gonna leave behind all the good juices. And in there, we are going to throw a half a head of garlic face down, and then celery, carrot, and onion, also known as a mirepoix, which means something in French that, um, that I don't know, but it's like a base for a lot of sauces. Cook that for about five to 10 minutes until everything sort of starts to soften up. And then to that, you're going to add a few tablespoons of tomato paste. I like to let this kind of sit in the middle on its own and cook because tomato paste tends to have a very tinny flavor and I like to get rid of that. Once that has a minute or two, then we are throwing in our liquids. The first thing we're gonna throw in is our tomatoes. I like to drain out the juice and then squeeze each tomato just to break it down a little bit before throwing it in. Give that a little bit of a stir. And then I throw in our delicious, delicious wine, about two cups of that. Give all that a stir, season everything along the way, salt and pepper. And finally, you are going to nestle the short ribs into this liquid. I like to top it off with a little bit of beef stock if I don't have enough liquid to almost cover all of the short ribs, and then a little bit of thyme. Cover this up and it's going in a 275 degree oven for about two, two and a half hours. I like to check it an hour in, give it a little stir. But at the end, you are going to see meat that is just falling off the bone. It will have shrunk a little bit. The liquids will have reduced quite a bit and your entire house should be smelling like warm and cozy comfort. With it, you can serve uh, rice, you can do pasta. I made a garlicky, herby polenta that I'm gonna serve it with. This is exactly what I wanna be eating on a day like today. When it's so snowy, so gross out, this is like getting a warm hug. The meat, so tender, so tender. Flavorful, the sauce is just mm, delicious. I love how the wine gives a really nice, flavorful braising liquid that mixes with the fat that comes off of the short rib and the juices of the tomato, and it just creates this delicious, combination. I don't want to do anything else but eat this today. It's beautiful. While the snow keeps coming and lingering around, I'm going to be okay because I know that I have these short ribs to comfort me. So with that, cheers.